That's one of my favorite songs of all time. It starts out, hey, you've got the dreamer's disease, and you only get what you give. So it's a group called the New Radi guy called the New Radicals. Uh, so I get the envious position of winding up the day and seeing who's left. I guess I have to ask the audience, first of all, who so far has seen their spirit animal? Well, we're in the sweat lodge. I was just wondering if, we, no, that didn't work. And of course, I'm getting a phone call. Goodbye. Sorry about that. So what I wanted to do, seriously, and uh, maybe next year we'll do it midway through, is say, you all came here today. Who's here for the first time? Okay. Why did you, in the yellow shirt right there, why did you come here today? You're invited. No, I don't want anybody who was invited. Who came here and paid to come who, who or attended that literally said, please let me attend? Anybody? Nobody? Okay, then continue. Why did you come? <laughs> I lost her already. She left. Okay. And I'm not on Tinder, as Josh was talking about. And so how did you think the program went today? Uh huh. But you had an expectation of what this was going to be. Did it meet your expectation? Very much so, yeah. Very much so. Yeah, it was great people to talk about. I mean, the about. idea of what I wanted to do is I've done conferences for years. I've participated. I've produced them. And you'll talk to somebody two months later, and you go, so what'd you think? Oh, it sucked. You go, what do you mean? You came. You never said you were unhappy. Well, nobody let me tell anybody I'm unhappy. So I've done sessions at conferences since then where we talk about, have we covered everything today that you wanted to cover? I think Gad, so. Gad, we're talking, please. <laughs> um, have we covered everything? Do you think, Gad, what do you think? Uh, Look at this. We've got, this is just like uh, Phil, uh, like. Um, um, I think the breaks were great. The well, the, it was great, uh, like refreshing, because like I saw the, the when when after a break, every, the whole place was filled out, right. and gradually, gradually disappeared. There's uh, nothing we can do about that. That's except for like uh, stop fl polluting the planet and <laughs> maybe uh, build a big refrigerator in the sky. But um. I mean, after you've heard people like Josh and Gad today, and other people, the people that were here, and I stopped in on a few other sessions. Is there anything that was missed? Is there anything you would add? Was there enough about music? Who wants to comment? This, the reason this is called the peer-to-peer -peer session is because I uh, want feedback from you. I don't have that much I'll, I want to say to you. I want to hear from you. I tell you what I do like about this as opposed to other conventions. There's only one stage. The fact yes. that there's two rooms, that's fantastic. I think that's great. Uh, what I would add is have it more like yeah, the, the ventilation or something like that, and have it like two days of this. Because what usually do they do is like, yeah, have like three days, and there's like 10 stages. Right. And a lot of different rooms. Right. You, it's too big. What I like really about uh, California and the guys here and the production is great uh, is that you can really meet everyone and you can really talk to people to everyone, and it's a great community. So Absolutely. I mean, I think two days, two days would be great. I think the one stage thing works really well. Uh, this is my third year back, and has, it's become the best thing I come to every year. And I'm not just saying that because I'm here. The idea that you don't have to choose, do I want to hear this person or that person, uh, is a good thing. I mean, that can be dealt with, again, with technology that both rooms are recorded, and you can watch the other one later. But again, it's not like the same thing as being here. Uh, any other comments, any other ideas, a session that, Jerome might put together for the for the next edition. Robert, you're back. I thought you were coming back for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Robert Singerman. Thank you, Chuck. That's the other problem going to all <laughs> these conferences. I know most everybody. <laughs> well, I think one thing that would be useful is the first night, like of the party, to actually have kind of open introductions. So like basically, everybody just says who they are. So it's kind of like at a party. You know, what you want to do as a host of a party, you want to introduce everybody to everybody else. So then you kind of know who to talk to for the next, I mean, I know a bunch of people here also already, but there's a lot of people here that I don't know who would have been nice, you know, even last night to just say who you are, where you're from, what you do, some, you know, quick introductions. Well, let me ask a question. If it went down to something really crass, 
as a color code on the badge that said, got money, need money. I mean, <laughs> it's green for the people that have the money and it's blue for the people who need the money. I mean, to know, you know, it, when, if you're here for one day or two days, who to focus your time on, even though the VCs don't want to be, you know, whether it's Rishi and, and John Aquaviva or some of the other people that are here, whether it's Jerome as a, as a VC, you don't want to be inundated. But it, if you came here as a startup to get investment, you know, you might not want to talk to me that much because I've got my bus fare back to the hotel. Um, what about the communication in general? Has it been good? Yeah, I mean, way I up there in the top. What do you think? Don't make him go up there, but yell up in the gray T-shirt. You're not moving. Are you asleep? Wake up! Oh, there we go. There's an arm moving. This is how I meet people. Go ahead. So for the communication, I think it was good. I uh, came from France. Uh, I held this event uh, last year. I wanted to do the pitch competition, but they didn't select me. <laughs> no problem, no problem. But are you, are uh, you pitching this year? No. Then come up here and pitch right now. Right yeah. now, pitch it. You got your moment. Okay. Come on down. Yeah. Pitch it. Let's do it. Now, you don't have a slideshow. You don't have audio visual, but you've got what's in your heart. Go ahead, take three minutes. How much time do I have left? Seven minutes, you get three of my seven. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So uh, I, have, I have a startup called Book My Studio. I am right now at Station F, Station F in Paris, in France. Uh, what is Book My Studio? Book My Studio is a platform who allow artists and uh, musicians to book recording studio online. Uh, let's talk about me a few seconds. Uh, I am an artist ma myself. I, start, I started as a DJ. After that, I do some uh, uh, beat making, co co composition music, and um, I did a, uh, a training to be a sound engineer. What I saw, it was that my recording studio was booked uh, every weekend. But at the week, Monday until uh, Thursday, it was quite difficult for me to book the studio. So. I wanted to have an app or a platform that hello artists to book a studio online. You have, for the artists, you have information about the studio, the refer references, the type of music that they do. For the studio, you have a new income because you are paying some charges even if the studio is not booked. Uh, with the platform, you can book all the slots that are uh, free. That's it for, book for me. And thanks for having okay. me speak. Okay. What? Yes. They have more studio. Everybody that have a studio, even if you have a home studio, you can put your home studio on the platform for have new income without. How many, how many studios are, are already registered for that? Right now, we have 50 studio. Uh, most of them are in France. But uh, as I say, I'm doing music, so when, when, whatever, when I go traveling for vacation, I try to catch some artist musician and also some recording studio to put them on the, on the platform. So right now we have one studio in Toronto, Canada, and three in London. And what's, what's the app called? Book My Studio. Book My Studio. Yeah. Okay, now, to end... Yes, that's it. Okay, <laughs> to end this, Goran owes me 50 for what, 55 minutes. Or wait, or 25 minutes. 25 minutes. I'm giving you my 25 minutes with him. Goran's going to give you advice. Okay. This is Goran Anderson. He would be somebody good for you in Europe to know. Thanks. I, I used to be in the studio business. So yes. okay. let's meet afterwards. Of in course. The, uh, there's going to be some drinks, I believe, right? Yes. I'll, I'll buy you <laughs> a free you. drink. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So to wind this up, to wind this up, the idea of coming to these is to connect, to meet people, to get things done, you know, to hang out. Yes, it's fine to party and it's fine to have drinks, but you want to come away with your accomplishing something. So if you have ideas on how to make this better next year or tomorrow to do something, you know, uh, Jerome, what's the best way for them to interact? Can they, is there, can they post on the Facebook page or, you know, or just walk up to him. He's the most approachable 
VC conference organizer, uh, soccer fan, I, I'm sorry, football fan. We call it soccer in the U.S. This is really a great event. Tomorrow's going to be fun. For those of you who are staying for the festival, uh, just make the most of it. Don't go home going, oh, shit, I should have. You know, if it's walking up to John Aquaviva and bitch slapping him to pay attention, he's rehearsing right now, but he'll be at the party tonight. Go bitch slap him and tell him, pay attention to me. You know, okay? Thanks very much. He will be there tomorrow also for the pitch competition. Yeah. Okay. I'm Thank done. You. Thank you, Ted. Thank you very much, Ted. Yeah, yeah, yeah.